Okay, where is our good man Hasselhappa here? Am I still you? Oh, he's here. Hey. Hello, Hasselhappa. So, do you want me to stream here, or do you, or are you able to just watch the match in in client? Um, I mean, I guess I can watch the match too, and I can. Yep. Pull the match up on uh, on your stream too. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, I just got distracted playing Wasteland Three, so but here we mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're here. I didn't even put a bet down. Uh oh. Oh well. It's okay. We can use it next season. There you go. <clears throat> oh. So both have Reen and Ariane Rod. Mm -hmm. I have not played against Ariane Rod uh, this season. Just banned it. Hmm, it's interesting. Uh, there's a Gizaroff on the left, but no Yusuke, and a Yusuke on the right, but no Gizaroff. Yeah, well, I like Gizroff more than Yusuke, I think. Yusuke kind of sucks against Landius. And I think I should not have picked Yusuke in uh, my yesterday's match either. Hmm. Yusuke, mm, I don't know. Sure, you can heal block, but after that, he's kind of useless. And he can only do anything when he have both faction buff and transform. And without a skill, he punches for, like, nothing. <laughs> it, uh, he, yeah. he may have been a little overhyped, but he, yeah. I, think, I still regard him as a pretty good later pick. Um, but he was definitely hyped up as, like, oh, he's going to one-shot every tank. Yeah. Pick him, and just, you're good. Nothing can kill him because he'll just kill them all on counter. Yeah, I'd rather have, a, like, a faction buffless Claret. Even when without any sort of tag buffs, can still do a lot of damage and it's always threatening every single turn. Rather than use yeah. K three turns only. Yeah, it's definitely there's you definitely leave yourself with a window, so you, you have to be able to be the aggressor or just keep use K back and use him to mop up, I guess, is a possibility. That's he's pretty good cleanup duty. But uh let's see, on the left side we've got a bunch of healing. We've got four healers. And a Rachel and a Deedlet. Well, I guess if you count Licorice as a healer, which I, I pretty much do. Sure, I guess. I count that <laughs> as sort of like three, but he does okay. have, or really does have Rachel and Licorice. So it's like three, oh, and dealers as well. So it's like three yeah. dedicated healers and three off healers. So yeah, yeah very good. And on last game side here, we don't see the Rachel here. And again, it's on this map, so... Yeah, last game has um, Iris Weiler, Liana. So three three dedicated healers, and then Licorice and Deedlet. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely liking the Rachel a lot more now. She also have the plus one range stick. You rode for that. Be good on her. Especially against Landius. You can attack at three range. No counter. With lightning, that can still do a lot of damage to a Landius. Yeah. Did the... Was Roy Lee on the left before the actual pick ban started? Because Rachel's on the right now. I've got... Yeah. Okay. They swapped sides for some reason. Yeah, I guess they didn't want us to know who was going first before that. Mm -hmm. The actual pick ban started. It would have been too much information. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So Roy Lee still has Zerida. Last game doesn't have Zerida. Second pick, Licorice. Uh, she certainly has shown herself to be... Uh, 
a very impactful character. <laughs> yep. Just the, the area control. Aries. The I mean, uh, Erwin really likes that. The Chris. And now Irwin some more did. of those debuffs gets banned out. Erwin has like a hacked Licorice, though, that gets all the right debuffs. Mm -hmm. So let's see, Angelina on the left. So, I mean, both both teams are pretty obviously going AoE. They both banned out Juggler. Um, neither one's really rushing. They're both doing kind of traditional tank push. Second pick, Arian Rod. Uh, so there's Ooh, a Gizaroth yes. that can buff her. I uh, like this uh, Arian Rod. So the Gizaroth gets banned to counter that no other faction buffs for are in rod in the box but there's still weiler and rachel and liana that can all get her attack up yep i like the rachel pick just gospel are in rod if you need to also gospel yeah. always nice gospel also dispels for licorice and counters the her aoe some just with the aoe healing um mm -hmm. more aoe from last game with uh leon Hart. Yeah, but there's no uh, synergy for factions here. So no. It's not um, going to be hitting for much of any K. damage. I'm expecting a use case or maybe a deed lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's the faction buff for him. It also threatens the faction buff deed lit, who's probably going to get banned here. Uh, maybe deed lit Iris get banned or Liana. If, uh... But he's, he's not really debuff heavy on the right, although he still has that option with the Basel and the Rain. So he might just leave the Liana open. Hmm. There's no real priority gospel targets either. So Liana's a little bit more deadweight than she usually is. So I could see Iris Deedlet being the next bands here. Yep. This is not going to be an uh, easy ban here for sure. Since really is kind of forced to pick up a healer here. Unless he wants to go with just single heal Rachel. Mm-hmm. Yep, so he can't decide if he wants to pick up one of the good AoEs with Bozo Rian or pick up the Zerda Assassin. Yep, that's for last game to decide here. Yeah, so he's forcing him on to... Or, and Weiler does have, uh, you know, he could bring Mass Attack, maybe, and buff Rin and Aryan Rod with it. I'm not sure here though. We might just see a Basel. I don't know. Green it. What do you think? Green or Basel here? Hmm. Well, Riley goes yeah. with Green. So Green can roll your reversal and make the use case completely useless. He can. Basel obviously can roll the heal block, but yeah, Green can roll heal block or heal reversal. Yep. Pretty strong. You can also disable Landius a lot better, since he have the two turn breaking legs to reduce mobility. Which could be pretty crippling if you find your Landius unable to get that dispelled. Right. Iris is not uh, a prolific dispeller. I'm probably expecting Licorice to run two AoE, so she'll only have the Dispel from her 3C. Yeah, I think I only lost yesterday because I only had one healer-ish in both games. There's like, in game one, had Weiler only. In game two, I had a Rachel only. But here, looking yeah. at Royley's team, he have one healer, and then there's also the off-healer in Rachel. Plus the Gospel, so... You should have no problem dealing with just Beanhearts and the Licorice here. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by the priority Leon Hart pick there. You know, all third pick isn't like super priority, but it, you know, pretty high up there. Um, hmm. I don't know if he's expecting a Lancer Landius, maybe, or if it's just maybe it's Lancer Arian Rod, but Leon Hart's not likely to kill even a Lancer Le Arian Rod with just his AoE. So it's a little weird, but he does block the act again at least. And then it'll be interesting hmm. to see if last game is still. Cavalry Landius against the Lancer Aryan Rod. Yeah, we'll see. Since last game's Landius was on Lancer just yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, either way, he's kind of got some class problems because he's oh. got a Reen and an Aryan Rod. 
So he let that read go to fifth pick, even though he has Lancer Land, yes. Yeah. And also, Aryan Rod with Drush Talisman can pretty much blow up Licorice. So here is a Strengthen, which means the Gospel can be set onto anyone. Probably herself, though it really depends on what sort of accessory this Rachel brought. Yeah, looking both at of these teams. Yep, both of these teams are a little cobbled together. Uh, when you get down to it, there's not a whole lot of, I mean, cohesiveness. I, I kind of think. Mm -hmm. Well, this Rachel here have white stats everywhere, which means she is on a new stick, which I can't remember what's the name of that. Uh, genius staff, oh, I yes. believe. Genius staff. So she uh, wants to attack on one of these non-defensive terrain. It, it has to be Genius Lomas. Staff and Teddy Bear. Um, yeah. Yeah, since everything else increases her int. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly what I ran. Why stats Strengthen everywhere. Strengthen on Landius. That's less expected. Um... Mm. So have one turn of Silence Immune. Oh hey, plus three mobility on Rian. It's happening already. Yeah, well that's a that's on Roy Lee's side. So this might be mm -hmm. uh, Irwin or the last game, depending on how you want to reference him, with a, a taste of RNG against them. Um, I think generally people would regard. I didn't see the votes before this, but I imagine it's they were stacked pretty heavily in Roy Lee's favor. Yeah. It's like 5 to 1 ish. Yeah, so. We'll see. Roy Lee is almost certainly the bigger whale here, but uh, RNG can shake things up. So, a teleport turn 1 on Licorice. Um, it's a little interesting. I'm not sure what he's trying to, to rush with that. Just take the middle, I guess, early. Hmm, well, there's no attack buffs here. So I right, don't no know if this buffs. Licorice can, like, two-shot Wyler here. Maybe she can, just because this deals effective damage against Oli. But... Yeah, oh. it's possible. And she's probably, I think, on... Uh... Well, I guess I don't know if she's on True Cross. True Cross could make her do bonus damage to uh, Rachel as well. But, I don't know, I mean, he's got the teleport on Leonhardt, so he has, he can do uh, Licorice oh, no, last move, and then follow up first move with Leonhardt, so it looks like that is what he is mm -hmm. seeking to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, going for the single target. So it's looking to AoE this Landius, apply the passive block, which it's immune to. Yeah, he's gospeled. He would have to dispel the gospel and then apply mm -hmm. a passive block. But if Landius puts up guard, he'd have to dispel the guard and the passive block. Or he'd have to dispel immune and the guard and apply the passive block. Yeah, so with his first hit, he have to dispel the gospel. And then with the second hit, the sword breath, well, he then have to apply the, uh, that, the I think, passive block. I think that was a mistake, unless... I mean, I guess he, maybe he's prioritizing um, mm. say, protecting the Rachel there, but now all he has to dispel is the guard, and he can kill that Aryan Rod, perhaps. Yeah, he could. Mm-hmm. Mm, pretty good damage. This Wilder should be dead. That could be another issue. If he's trying to snipe Aryan Rod and he kills Wilder, um, he won't be able to anymore. So I guess we'll see what he does here. If he's gonna he could go up and AoE with Reen, but not Ogre. Uh, mm -hmm. 
it, se it seems like a, a bad idea. He'll probably just move the ring away here. He'd also just be exposing his ring to get, getting killed by Leon Hart. So, yeah, very likely to run away. Transform, there he goes. Yeah. Yeah. So I would expect the Leon Hart first, maybe. Just so you so, have a better chance of getting rid of this Weiler here. Now that Reen is Maybe. ogred, it, if he wanted to be really cheeky about it, he could have backed up right now and just let the ogre run down, and then he'd have a silent Reen. But yeah, he's silent. Uh, he applied this, but now it's gonna. Now the dispel goes off, mm -hmm. so he could dispel the Weiler buff off the Iron Rod, which he does. Um, he does not dispel. Whoa. Oh, he kills anyway. Okay. That is uh, also, I'm sure everyone has noticed, a monstrous Leon Hart with 1,710 attack. <laughs> so now I think he just runs away. Um, let's take see take two kills yes, and yes, regroup. Exactly. Well, looking at Rachel here, she cannot actually reach. No, she can reach the Licorice, but she can't kill Licorice, certainly. Yeah, against Sorceress, uh, that's not happening here. Um, so, Reen has got a lot of work to do, and not much well, to she, do with. He still does have this plus three mobility here. So, yeah, he got seven. How does he have two turns of plus three mobility? He moved. It's this thing that does not tick down any buffs you have. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yep. becomes more and more common as long as like starting to do that, which makes a lot of characters feel outdated when they don't have it. Uh -huh. Okay. This so... is really bad. This is telling me or telling the opponents that this Rachel wants to attack right here. So all you have to do with this Licorice is move right here. Use 3C. And basically this Rachel can't attack anywhere unless you want to like actual, actually get into a duel with this Licorice. So you just move yeah. right here and then boom with... Yeah, exactly. Yep, so he sees that too. Yep, you called it. So, so Rachel, Rachel is just, just, just gonna like, yeah, kill herself if she attacks into Licorice. And she you, can't even move up. Yeah. Oh, she's moving down. She's moving down. Ooh, okay. So she yeah. has to move can't to the side. Yeah. Oh, Actually she's just gonna get to another one of the tick. Sides, and then the best you can do is rein AoE here. Yeah, I have uh, great difficulty imagining when losing this game from this point. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, very well played, and also just, Jesus Christ, that Leon Hart is huge. Mm -hmm. Good positioning. Avoid getting hit by the Reen. And even just, like, stick everyone back here and let these two just, like, you know, 2v5 the entire enemy team. That can also work. <laughs> like, what is this Rachel going to do here? Nothing. So with Licorice, as she is looking now, she can't really do that much anymore. Since she used both skills, then clock as thing. So, yeah, Licorice is kind of useless now. I have to right. take care of everything else with the rest of the team here. So he goes into guard here. Um, obviously Royley going to have turn advantage, or turn mm -hmm. priority. Mm -hmm. He has, Erwin has Dolly on, uh, so he is in the thick of that AoE now. Yep. Well, Rachel can attack now, in three. Mm, yep. Attack hero here. Right. I don't, it won't kill anything. Well, you could also AoE here. I'm kind of expecting just to see a follow up AoE from Rain. Yeah. You have to roll really good debuffs like heal reversal on Yusuke. Um, oh, here's the attack. Okay, there it is. Mm hmm. And I'll use passives. Not like she has one. Yeah, those sorks aren't going to be full health pretty much ever again, unless this fight goes a long time and he gets off another scythe. Or there wants us to sh uh, say Shinki Goitz every time Rin does something. 
So I have not like... played Shinky Goitsu. <laughs> there. Shinky Goitsu. Yeah. Soon. There you go. Right there. Are you sure you want to do that, Fiona? Do it. Oh well, Shiki going to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet you regret that already because I sure do. <laughs> I have not played a, uh, the Travels of Cold Steel, hmm. so you know. So I missed that, but it didn't look like it clocked. Um, I was too busy reading. Uh, yeah, that didn't clock either. So no clocks Fjallar anywhere. To look for the pronunciation there, he brought. He chose to do the Fatal Arc Slash instead of. Uh, the EX, Gale EX. Oh, but it's still going to be down. Still not on the uh, the other thing, which is uh, a goddess tier. So couldn't get rid of this heal block here. Yeah, probably doesn't but... matter that much. At least for now. I don't know. I mean, Landius could attack in, and then Reen could single target attack in, and perhaps take a life from Landius. Maybe. But the. Uh... Roy Lee's Landius would take a lot of damage to do that. Oh, there's the uh, Gospel on. No attacks here. Oh. Reduce mobility here as well. But, um, I guess... Erwin is still... fine here, since nothing clocked. Like, Reen, right. Rachel... There's no clocks um, there. If you just survive here, wait a while. Yeah, I'm not sure if Rachel is, can threaten that Lancer Landius with lightning. Um, yeah, I don't that think shouldn't so. do a whole lot. I mean, but it'll do a still, chunk, but yeah. I don't think it'll take a life. Yeah. Um, if she does that and then Reen follows up with a single target, though, that might do for the uh, Lancer Landius. <laughs> No, Reen doesn't other thing... have any sort of attack here. This is at 1120 attack. Mm -hmm. You're facing 1060 defense, and it's on force. Yeah, it is so, on force. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So even with the class advantage, yeah. you won't do a ton. Yeah. Um. Huh. But yeah, the the heal block on that Landius. I don't know if you could just invest a ton into taking that. Mm -hmm. So his uh his guard is down. Reen is not guarded right now. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if anyone can do anything mm -hmm. about that. Use case, Moby down, you know, Leon Hart could single target attack him, which isn't gonna... Yeah, Iris not having the Goddess tier here kind of matters a bit. So here's the heal, Use K. Um... Yeah, what is Iris on? She's on Bracer. Um, yeah, Bracer apparently. Uh, well, I think it's good. You can get silenced. Yeah, Certainly. silence immune and licorice obviously makes fixed damage mm -hmm. more of a factor now than it was before licorice. Mm -hmm. So Yusuke can at most move here and attack a range of three, so can't really punish anything. No, if the if the licorice moves down, then Yusuke is in range to uh, attack the Landius. Which would apply the heal block so Rachel can keep topping him off. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that Landius is still not guarding Reen, Ooh, so. There's another um, heal block applied from Reen. Licorice can attack. Heal block applied on Reen? Oh, on, uh, on the Landius, from yeah, Reen on the Landius. Reen, yeah. Okay, because Reen is also getting debuffed from Licorice. So Lee and her are kind of attacking to this Reen right now, but probably not going to kill. No. There's no attack um, on Zero. So Licorice instead, can also yeah. attack him. Mm. Which I think is probably what I'd do, just attack with Licorice at this point. Mm, you can... I would actually just probably wait with Landius here. Well, you might as... I would attack into the other Landius if I'm going to do Because you get to triple here. move. Right here. Since Rachel is going to move here, probably kill a life off of Landius. And then you get to triple move. Like, you know. Oh, you can yeah. actually punch the Reen now. The Reen is not guarded. 
Yep, the guard went down because he had to put up guard turn one. Um, I think that probably attacking Landius with the uh, Lancer Landius would have been the better move there. I don't think he would have taken much of any counter damage attacking his Lancer on forest against a pure calf and would have just helped whittle down Landius a little bit. Yeah, I would have done all of that at, after this Rachel moves though, since this Rachel can still heal up the team a bit. So after they move, then you can triple move, like punch Reen, attack into Landius, and then, I don't know, this lean heart can attack into Rachel. Yeah, so next like turn... Oh, yeah, this does no him, damage. Moved him onto the city wall, even. Yeah, I couldn't do much about it, though, since, you know, this Oh, Rachel yeah, he wants to stay guarded. Have to stay within... Um, he could have taken a step back. He could have taken a step to the right, and then nothing would have really Ooh, been threatening. Not even kill. Didn't kill, but it's dead now. Still, that's a uh, cooldown that you're not getting back. Or I guess it yeah. doesn't really matter. You you can't def definitely can't use it next turn, and you can't use it while not transformed anyway. So I guess right. it's fine. Right? And this turn. Uh... Did he take zero damage? I think he took zero damage. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, that was a turn Rachel couldn't have even attacked from three away because he had no skills left. So Irwin's teleport plays are pretty good. That was quite an impressive match. <clears throat> and again, really moved the Wilder way too early. For really no reason. Finally, we see a different map here. So we might see, I guess, Angelina here. That'll be pretty good. Yeah. So Royley gets rid of Licorice for a Leonhardt. That's interesting. But it, it's another uh, AoE Swordsman against last game's Lancer Landius. Mm -hmm. You know that he's player one. That's definitely something better, but not on this map, I would say. Making the yeah. heart work on this map is quite a pain. It is awkward, and it's also uh, that Leonhardt has no faction buffers. Now, the one thing you can do is teleport with Gospel applied into the heart of the enemy team. That way you can actually get off AoEs. Of course, it's not going to run back afterwards, but you can do a lot of damage doing that. Erwin Liana is the original name of the person piloting the last game's account. Um, right now he's like official Japanese character Dism. Second pick green from Roy Lee here. So Yep, this is new. Trying to do the, the AoE swordsman thing or the debuff thing here. And we see the Licorice band out. Yeah. Licorice. If you don't have any way to counter Licorice yourself, she's just a big uh, pile of problems for most people, it seems. It's quite so quite interesting. Gizaroff and Rachel band, so faction buffering band and uh, gospel. Still one gospel and a Wyler left that could be offensive buffs. Although most people do not care that much about their rings. Oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, Leonhardt was brought in because it's facing a Lancer Landius. Yep. And picking all these sword units, infantry units, makes this Aryan Rod slightly worse. Yeah, I don't think we've seen the last game's Aryan Rod, but. It is, like, I think in China it was about 86% Lancer Aryan Rods to 14% Holy or so, so. Hmm. You certainly know your stats. <laughs> well, that one stuck in my head just because it was so skewed. Hmm. And it didn't seem like that. Like, Lancer has the advantage against Cavalry Landius and a little bit higher defense base, which helps her survive assassins, maybe. But you still have to invest a decent amount in her bulkiness to survive assassins without the big, you know, 90% damage reduction that makes her survive everything. 
All right. Zerda. Now, do you like Zerda on this map? Because it always feels a little restrictive. It's easy to block her paths. I I think I like the Zerda here. At least you can be immune to all the debuffs here. If you just go all hazard. But mm -hmm. you're certainly probably going to get that. Right. So Zerda does threaten the Basel, obviously, if she's yeah. going all hazard. There's, and... I don't think there's a Basel that can survive all hazard Zerda. Yep. So there's a counter there. Also, she's pretty resistant to stuff like Ares. Well, there's, there is an Ares. <laughs> there's no way you can Ares, like, solo kill the Zerida. Well, there's, not yeah. unless she's behind and not guarded, and then he can just snipe her that way, but, uh... I guess. Um, well, with Ares, yeah, you can always do something like, you know, pull away the tank or pull something away. So there's that, I guess, if you make that happen. Yep. So, okay, so he does want a healer. He takes the Iris there. Now, uh, last game is in the same situation where he needs to pick Iris or no healer. He can take the Deedlet as a, you know, a bit of healing. <clears throat> hmm. Iris certainly kind of weak as, at healing. Or at uh, the spelling as well, since no goddess tier, a song bracer. Yep, Deedlet might actually be better against debuff spam, but here we go Iris versus Iris. Mm -hmm. And Illustrial is another unit that is a little awkward on this map. Obviously, the center is grassland everywhere, but other than the center, uh, she will not be able to ignore guard. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes with the Aryan Rod here and bans out Aryan Rod himself. So, okay, and he picks up Yusuke for her last pick there. So, hmm. I almost think I would have liked Deedlet better. Because there is the Reen. The Reen's gonna potentially, you know, debuff from Reen just can swing so many things, and there's the AoE damage added from Aryan Rod. So, having a little bit more AoE healing than Iris herself can give might have been uh, more appealing to me than the Yusuke final pick. I think I would have liked to see the dealer as well. We're facing against Irene Rod. She should or might survive against the Zerida. Can definitely support the team against the Reen. The Yusuke here kind of dies to all of them. Yeah, I was interested in that third pick Ares. Ares seems to have uh, fallen out of favor a bit, but obviously still... Erwin still believes... So we'll see what he can do here. <clears throat> and for, for anyone who didn't know, Irwin was uh, the original fan translation. I, I think at some point, Elwin was translated as Irwin because Japanese people and their L's and R's, uh, when they get translated into English, it's a bit of a crapshoot. Which is how we almost ended up with Randius instead of Landius. Well, this Reen and uh, Arian Rod does not have any buffs here. But over here on last game side, the only thing we have here for AoEs is really only just the Bozel. Well, Bozel and Ares. Ares mm. brought Wind Whisper, so it's AoE Ares. Um, really and Bozel brought yeah. his own faction buff, so he only has one AoE. Yeah, so it's like, well, who's gonna get more clocks? <laughs> I guess. Uh, Basel does have sleep, and he did not, um, Roy Lee did not bring mass resist on Iris, so uh, he can sleep with whoever, whoever he wants to, whether yeah. they want him to or not. 
Yeah, there's no shield here either, so could punch the land use with three C use K, but again, I don't really like that sort of play. Right, but with the use K and the sleep, you can sleep Landius and then probably clean up any of these people with the use K. Yeah, I like that sort of play better here. Because nice. if you kill the land, yes, we're not going to be able to kill anything else. So that's a 914 defense Yusuke. Um, might be wing shin guards, so then his defense would be in the thousands, I think. I'm not sure if that oh, can survive. So um, Alhazard Zerda, yeah, obviously his defense mm -hmm. will get amped up even higher after someone dies. So he may be able to weather that. Um, but yeah, other than Landius and perhaps Yusuke, all of his team dies to Alhazard. So there's Zerda. no point bringing Zealots here since there's no buffs on Arian Rod. Yeah. Templar Knights are a little weird too, though. There's not a whole lot of magic damage for her to... Eh, well, uh, it's not like she uses her troops much anyways, it's just... Right, I guess um, Templar Knights actually are cavalry, so sometimes people like to do a play where they attack in with Aryan Rod into uh, Landius to get her under half, so mm -hmm. cavalry troops will certainly die to the Landius. Yep. And then she can have her talent active. Right, and if you're on carbon fiber set, you definitely want to be below 50% rather than, you know, below 70%. And Templar Knights should absolutely get crushed. <laughs> which means Arian Ross gets like, more attack. Yes, assuming you don't just die outright, which she probably does not to a Lancer Landius. Yep, well, that shouldn't but happen. Every now and then, uh, you see highlight reels where things like that happen. But she is also on no attack buffs, so we'll see mm -hmm. how effective she can be here. Um, God, Indeed. I still I can't get over the fact that her three C is three dispels, like yep. it's just sort of tacked on there as in another, which seems to happen more and more these days, where they're just like, oh, it does this and this and this. Oh, and let's just sprinkle yep. one Very more. All right, just let's going see. Dispelled the entire team when they have fresh buffs, they're gonna be screwed for the whole next three, four turns. Yep. So Landius on the left put up his guard turn one. Um, I guess yep, perhaps. No, the faction buff. Yep. I don't know if he was worried about Ares going in single target with no skill. Um, because otherwise, I can't see why he did that because now. There's going to be that timing window where Landius has uh, just a one-range guard one turn mm -hmm. earlier for Royley than there will be for the last game. Assuming that last game guards this turn, which he probably will. Mm -hmm. Also, no teleports turn one. Yep, since Rian didn't transform, we can definitely push up this Landius here like I would. And take more of the map here. Push up all of these units, perhaps even teleport if you really need to. Green is not set up, Zerda is not set up, there's basically no threat on Droidly's side on this turn. Yeah, so you he can could uh... move anywhere you like and just take control of middle. He actually could have done a cheeky thing here and uh, teleported up his Ares. I mean, he could still do that now. Yeah. Um,. And just reduce the amount of area Zerida can Al Hazard can bloodthirster if he's interested in that. Green can still use a AoE here without transform. But yeah, we're gonna see that now, so there's going to be even less pressure on this map. But it does block off the Ares from kind of, you know, blocking or threatening the Zerida. So here I think I'd probably just move up Transform Yusuke. Yeah, and this time, uh, probably because of the map, he chose to take the Gale EX, which turns into Arcane Gale, uh, mm -hmm. rather than the line AoE. Just line AoEs in general are very hard to mm -hmm. get on this, match unless, and on this map unless you manage to bottleneck your opponent. Oh, well, here's the Transform, but there's no Breeds.
Mm. Okay. Well, there's a few things you can do here. Teleport. Yeah, so he... Oh. That one. Run around with this okay. alien rod. Yeah, so that was Arian Rod's Sturmland skill. Um, yep, but which moves her? Well, she doesn't have any stacks of her talents, so her mobility is still garbage. Yeah, she has to be in threat range to get any of those. Um, yeah. Which, oh, teleport! Here we go. Is hmm, three move Basel. One, two, mm. three. I think there's so, a better turn where you can do this. Because Zerda is going to be immune to all the debuffs once she uses all Hazard. Yes, which she's probably going to do right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if there's... Yeah, instead of you do this on a turn where Zerda is already in the Hazard but can't reach anyone. Hmm. Hmm. So... I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ares is in range to hit Reen, who is not guarded. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. Everyone, and there is a black hole that will hit four if he wants it. Yeah, but that but leaves his causal. up a lot of space here. This entire line is pretty much covered. So there's no safe spot for this Bozo to AoE. Yeah, she also pulled far enough back that she's covering the bottom. Um, so you can't like AoE down. I don't know if he'll just pull back now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see an engagement here. Erwin might try to initiate anyways, now that he has used up this teleport. But I don't think it's going to be ending well for him. Okay, so he's gonna AoE, I guess, three of them, it looks like. He can AoE Iris, Landius, and Rain. Either that or he's going to AoE short and pull Landius up, but he does not do that. Uh, so this cannot heal of damage. Oh, this might kill. This might kill Iris. Nope. No. Okay. There's I got no confused. There's damage buff on the Ares. With the damage buff, maybe you can kill the uh, Iris, but it doesn't kill. Yeah, when I... So here's a mass heal on basically everyone, and then the AoE is definitely not going to be killing anyone. Yeah, I'm not... I'm a little confused. Um, but no, when I clicked on Iris, she was already at 1606 after the first AoE, but I guess it just updates with all the damage that it hasn't finished uh, displaying yet. Yeah, if you want to be engaging here, I think I would have went in with Bozo first, so you can roll some AoEs, uh, roll some debuffs, like heal blocks... Yeah. Silences. Yeah, he needed to try to get a heal block um, on someone. Blocks. Yeah. This is looking like a dead play here. I don't know if he, he might force it here, just because he can only lose one. Oh, he heals Iris alone. Yeah, but Rian is definitely I mean, not going to go down. He right. has 30 not damage him. reduced, so yeah, it's right. not going to do damage. But here it goes. Sleep. Um, okay. No, no, this is pretty much game over. You can just kill the Bozel here with Zerda, and then Darius can't do anything. Well, yeah, pretty much. Um, mm. Ares, if you kill the Bozel with Zerda, Ares mm. can kill Zerda, probably. Well, he doesn't have uh ragnarok so he wouldn't break last rites um so yeah. he probably wouldn't kill even without the hide and seek but here there's a uh, yusuke anger so this does happen but yusuke gets angered and he can take out one life off of landius 
and also heal block him. So, actually, does seem not bad. Hmm. Yep. So use case, case two, anger. Three, you can punch Reen. So you can, yeah. So he's going with the Zerda, which okay. I don't know. Sure, I guess. Yeah, it does I mean, seem like a better position to kill the Landius here. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, obviously he gets the reset on his 3C, but it's still two turns away now, and Landius will be healed back up. And Zerida wasn't going to be a huge threat, because she wouldn't have been able to hide and seek anymore. Um, and she she couldn't ever use her Bloodthirster, because then she'd just get killed immediately without a tank. Mm -hmm. But Aryan, I think all this was spurred by the Aryan Rod play, where she just threw herself way out of position of anything. Um, yeah, can't really I'm not go anywhere. Sure, if it's going to pay off, but that Aryan Rod is sure just a dead. Well, there she Ooh. goes. Okay. Shows shows what shows what I know. Well, uh, Ares can fly over this Reen. They can attack and then fly away. Yep, he can do that. I don't think it will take. I'm not sure. It might take Landius's life. Eh, might as well attack anyways. The royal, uh, yeah. Oh well, fuck. They Whatever. did not. I'm sorry. I'm not sure if this is a family stream. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you could have made a better attack if you fly here. That way, you are still in range of. Uh, no, Actually, it's it three. Matter. Yeah, this is six stars, right? It's it's three blocks. It's got to be six stars. Yeah, yeah, it's six yeah, stars. Yeah, it's good. Yep. So okay. no, just didn't have enough. Yep. And now you're flying away from Arian's range here, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if she if she steps up three, she'll be uh, in range of Yusuke. Well, she'll get her her stack at least, but she won't. She doesn't have an AOE she can use unless she wants to burn Grand Cross on only Yusuke. Now, last game still gets to move first. That's yep. pretty impressive. But Rin does get a AOE off. Okay, now Grand Cross is a little juicier. Mm, Grand Cross should be a range of three. Yep, just a range of three. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, you're also moving into range where Yusuke can just range attack and kill the Landius' first life. Yep. It's not bad, but... He won't be healed blocked, though, so that Landius can get healed back up. Ooh, I, I don't know about this one. They're just putting everyone into position to get AoE'd here. Yeah, AoE'd by Reen, AoE'd by... So Yusuke, Aryan Rod. just move forward, punch maybe? You can even attack with Landius, actually. Like, push yeah, forward. It... Push forward and attack with Landius would block Reen a little bit. Well, maybe, I don't know. But no, you still can like take a huge AoE here, but at least yeah, you get it... rid of one life off of Landius. There's pretty much nowhere you can move that Reen isn't going to hit everyone at this point. Oh, um, Pash points out if it's Peacekeeper... Which it looks like it's Ragnarok, but yeah, Peacekeeper would have had a chance to kill Andius mm -hmm. outright. Mm -hmm. This should still be okay. You now force the heal on Iris, I guess. Right, if he doesn't really heal now. any other place here, yep. Yeah, and without the heal, Yusuke just follows up and kills. Mm -hmm. Also get a but... heal over time on Rian, which is pretty good after he moves. Now the Yusuke should not be able to kill... No. Um, he can attack with the Yusuke and block. Mm. Mm. Sure. You know, he can melee attack then. Yeah, here he goes. Um, one, two, three. So this is... This, this puts Ares and <clears throat> Iris out of Reigns and uh, Aryan Rod's range. Well, Arian Rock can only hit these two, but Reen can still hit everyone. Oh, because of Balance Blade. Right, right, right. Yep. One, yep. two, three. Yep, Balance Blade. Yep, so Termination Slash. Let's see if there's a clock problem. Reversal. That That's going to be a a pretty, pretty good. 
Oh, two heal reversals. Jesus. Full healed. No oh, clock. yeah. This Ares is, like, pretty much dead. Wait. There's a heal block. So you're yeah, actually so... safe from Ares or uh, Iris's right. heal here. Yeah. I mean, Ares wouldn't have died there. He just would have been chunking himself. Well, I guess heal with block, the fixed damage. And yeah. anti buffs. So these are pretty strong debuffs, though. Yes. Uh, heal block on Landius as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is sure awkward. I, I'm assuming Aryan Rod attacks in and then AoE is here. Mm -hmm. And she does not have the Iris heal. So if she has Carbon, it should be active. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that's 50%. Seems good. It's not 50%. Yeah. Carbon's not active if she has it, but obviously talent is. Oh, fine. This dispels a whole bunch. Yep. That's a lot of damage, so Yusuke is pretty much dead, but you can at least get off one last attack with this Yusuke. Um, yep. So, did not discard, did not dispel the Landius guard. Uh, and he has turn priority anyway. Yep. So, I think he just. Heal Landius with Iris? Yeah. Hope that mm. you dispel. No, nope, didn't dispel the heal block. I would like that to is... see the move here with Iris. Because this use case is certainly dead here, anyways. Right, and Landius just healed up a bunch. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we'll see. He might just do the range spirit gun. Or dark tincture. Yeah, I think you have to here. But that's he might he'll still die from the healing. I think. Yeah, he will most definitely. But you can so, at least get a heal block onto this land use before you go right. down. Right. I'm just thinking if you're gonna die anyway, you might as well melee it. No, it's like Yusuke attacks very slowly though. So he might just go down before he actually gets his attack off. Is dark tincture slow? Yeah, dark tincture is very slow. Okay, because usually his normal attack is the fastest in the game, basically. Yeah. When you're in a Yusuke versus Yusuke situation, never use Dark Tincture within the range of the other Yusuke. Ah, okay. It's like the attack so slow, you lose. Well, it's like if you can die to the counter, you will die. Yeah, so Rune still has Arcane Gale. Mm hmm. And Landius is still heal blocked. I don't know. This well, is the looking. Zealots are going to be doing no damage here. But this the real like cavalry it... are not at 80%, so. Best chance you've got. What is uh, this? Okay. Dead, yep. I, I don't know. He thought he could kill, but he couldn't. So Yusuke yeah. goes down to the Rian. Rian's so this looks, uh, looks, looks, looks over. Yeah, if Iris was blocking here, maybe, and if like, but now it's like you can't get rid of this heal block with just the bracer, Iris. Yeah, which again, the deedlet <laughs> could have made a big difference. And I don't know, Yusuke did some useful things too here this match, to be fair. But I don't know. I think that if he'd heal blocked the Landius instead of killing the Zerida, um, we would have had a different match, obviously. Uh, he can save Ares here, but to... I, mm -hmm. don't, I don't know. Seems moot. Clock. Okay. Yeah, I think this is over. Might as well concede. Yeah, that Bozo play, not good. Should have just banned all the Zerda. Yeah, I don't know. He's just, he slept. Reen. I don't know. It was weird. It was awkward.
can't even take a life. Pitiful damage. <laughs> Still, it's not like you can really heal this Lambius. You have to roll a 1 in 4 chance to get rid of heal block and then heal next turn. Yeah, and you'll just give him the... Well, you'll get you'll give him the heal from Dolly this turn if you manage that. Mm -hmm. And he does have turn priority here. Um, nope, oh. healing herself. So, not even trying to... That Landius is very... Landius could die to the burns here. You no, know, he will, yeah. I mean, if he moves, he will. He's going to take 2,184 damage. <clears throat> also, this Arian Rod can act again, so can just double punch the Landius, and then that's going to kill. So, yeah, yeah, this game's I think, over. I think he had to roll to... He, yeah, he had to roll for the re this removing um, of this. Yeah, I think Ares 3C might be up again here, but I, what's yeah, it going to do? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Proposal play, very bad. Yeah, so th this is life one. Mm -hmm. And uh, and there's so many ways to kill him. It's like, yep. I think Ares... No, no, Ares couldn't single target him, I don't think. Reen can do it. Arian Rod can do it. I said Ares. I meant Reen. I'm not sure if Reen can take this life or not. I think he can. But also... Okay, get a double kill with Arian Rod seems good. Kill one. Kill two. Mm -hmm. Time to Off go to game Arian three. Rod. I think you should have killed the Landius there with Yusuke. Yeah. Apply heal block. Kill the Landius. Zerda, use the skill. Can't do anything else. Pretty sure. Yeah, the Zerda at that point. Um, just yeah. without hide and seek. Does not have and skill. She doesn't have any skill to ignore guard without using Bloodthirster, mm -hmm. which yeah. means that she can't. She can't do the go to 50% health thing without a tank mm -hmm. and without safety, so. I don't know. So, that being said, Roy Lee did luck into those heal reverses and heal blocks. Yep. <laughs> but that's how kind of how the game is played when you have a debuff focus box. You're going to get something, and most mm -hmm. of it's pretty good. Especially with only an iris to dispel anything. And I didn't even have mass heal, so it was just <laughs> single yeah. target heals from Iris to dispel. If only Iris had her 3C. Looks like banning all the RNG stuff from Erwin is the correct choice here. If he can roll. RNG against you. And he is not a threat at all. Okay. Um, I think this game is over once you just ban like Ares and I mean, once you ban Bozel, it's like what can you do? You take away Irwin's all of Irwin's toys. <laughs> There's nothing left. I don't know why this Yusuke second pick. I don't get it. Yeah, against Landius, I don't like it. Like he he's got he can he can bring his own Aryan rod now if he wants. Oh really? 
giving Erwin Bozo again. Well, he didn't ban Zerda, so... I mean, but might be why. Uh, second pick Rain again. And Rain is even more impactful because of the Lancer Landius. I don't know. I don't get it. Yep. I mean, I guess uh, he felt like he had to ban Alestriel. This is a good map for Alestriel. All right, so he bans a faction buff for Rain, but he still got a Basel available for even more debuff. Uh, you didn't ban the Zerda. Let's see a repeat. Pick Basel into death. But now Basel should most definitely get banned. Maybe. Are you not not great against Rain? Not great against Rain, but it is a uh, cavalry landius. Yep. There's that, but um, no Basel ban Zerda, so yeah, he banned long so, legs yeah. and then. This is gonna be like a repeat. You give them Basel, you get Zerda, and then you counter Basel with Zerda. Yeah, I I feel like last game Erwin should go with Deedlet here probably. Then you might have characters Zerda can't kill. But you're not gonna win this game with like Yusuke, Beatlet, and Arian Rod. I think that's just gonna go himself. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we know Roy Lee's Rachel is a uh, teddy bear, so she's an option here. Basel, okay. How's he gonna get that Basel anywhere? <sighs> yep. Yeah. You have a teleport, I guess, again. And he's got dispels from Liana. Mm, and the act again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like this. If you if you bet on the last game, I wouldn't be liking this. I'm glad I saved my ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was all planned out. Why well, he does not have that uh, RNG anymore? This is what remains. Hazuchio. Would you say that you're slightly salty about something? Okay, I have looked at his past games. All of them ended in him winning with RNG. All of his plays were made possible by RNG. It's not skill. Well, it's hard. You have to brush away the RNG and then you can see if there's skill underneath it too. But he's got the iris for teleport, so he can teleport Basel up again. Um, he doesn't have any follow up for that, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't see this going well. What sounds like BS? Seeing if there's any skill. It's... Uh, squirreled away underneath the RNG. Hmm. Again, I just don't like the Yusuke. He's overrated. If this was like a Gizarov instead, I don't like it a lot better. Yeah, I don't know. Especially with you know that Roy Lee has been was second picking picking Reen before, mm -hmm. um, and Reen yep. can just ruin Yusuke's day, which just happened to you. So it's not like it should be a surprise. Yep. I don't know. This one might be all over, but the crying. And yeah, no deed lit pick, as he mentioned, um, against Irene. He's got the same situation where he has no dispelling, and he's just going to be at the mercy of Reen. Yeah, he's playing like me. He's up against debuffs, and he's choosing to eat it all. Apparently Trump is censored, but Biden isn't. 
according to... Oh, well, that's probably because Rump. The T isn't censored. It's just Rump in there. Song doesn't want you talking about Rumps. Oh. Sorry, I have banter up, so I am uh, reading all sorts of just delightful comments. <laughs> that's right. All right, here we go. Here we are. There's the Yusuke. We know he can't kill Landius, more or less. Mm -hmm. um, this time, Landius has a gospel, so you can't even heal reverse the Landius easily. Yep. And we haven't seen that, you know, Erwin RNG here. Where's the tail breezes? Where's the... everything, really. Yeah, that, uh, that Yusuke is not on Atenios, which is a little interesting. I suppose it's probably Odin's, but... Um, it's actually on... Charon? Yeah, Drumgender's Eye. I think yesterday it procced against me. Oh, hmm. That's... Which is, like, one of the worst hats, I think, on Yusuke. Yeah, he's got a lot of good hats you could wear, and Yorm's Eye is not one of them. Yeah. So goes for Exorcist on Aryan Rod this time. Uh, not looking for the attack in, act again, play. Mm -hmm. um, he's probably not looking to it, go aggressive turn two here anyway with the Alhazard Zerda. I think he can just move up and threaten. Or here we go. Okay, what's he? He has no follow up. What's his? What's he gonna do? Um, Zerda can certainly. Pull the sword and get an act again. Unless you silence Liana right here. Uh, it's not a bracer, Liana. It's probably not. Uh, there's a plus three Moby on Yusuke, but he's not transformed. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he he can Sturm lands up with his own Aryan Rod. Uh, it provides some support, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't know what he's gonna unless he just gets the axe absolute nuts on the debuffs here. All right, he had the faction buff just for Aryan Rod, so he couldn't yeah. transform turn one. Otherwise, that would have been a transform. It's a lucky tail breeze here, so. Uh, okay. Yeah. I was wondering if you might even pull back uh, Landius because then Basel wouldn't even be able to black hole the Landius either. But he moves him up, her up. He moves him up to protect Aryan Rod. Ooh, ooh, what is going on here? What happened to the AOE? Um, I guess he's he's trying to wait till the last. Because like that bossle can't even AOE Zerda. Yep. But I guess he wants he needs to AOE Liana and hope for a silence. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, so I'm kind of. This is a very risky place here. I don't know. It uh, it stinks of desperation. Yeah. So there's the bloodthirster. I'm kind of this... interested that he even went with the Crystal Warlocks because he had to have guessed that Zerida would be Bloodthirster. Exactly. Can AoE the Zerida. This is not a good turn to be engaging. I just pull back, play it safer. Yeah, I mean, if he pulls back to underneath Landius, Zerida's out of range, and then... uh. It's a little bit more awkward. So he's giving Liana the act again. Um, Just outside of Zerda's range, at least. If Liana gives the act again here, she can step back and be outside of black hole range and then be ready to counter it next turn. Mm, there's the act again. Yeah, also my Tenyos All right. did not. Yep. No, I think you just have to take a step back. This is most definitely not the turn to be engaging. Yeah, Zerda I mean... here will be using faction buff here, so... If you step back, then Zerda won't be ready on turn two. 
mostly. I mean, I think she'll still be at half health. Just um, take a step back. You can move forward and guard. She's not I going to be able to ignore guard. I think he's going to go for it. No, there's no way. He's going to suicide the entire... Yeah. Oh, no, he's going back. Okay. Yeah, he's going to suicide and lose the entire match if he goes in. He, that doesn't stop people. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so burned his teleport on Basel, and in return, Zerda's about in the same spot she would have been anyway. So basically, burn teleport for Act again. Mm -hmm. Now he does buy himself a turn here, I guess, but I'm not sure. Oh, it should be okay since he got the Act again from Liana. And transform, push forward. Maybe AoE. We should most definitely see the Reen transform though. It would be very strange if Reen did not transform this turn. Yeah, I mean, you're clearly both moving toward a confrontation here. If you don't mm -hmm. transform with Reen, uh, you're going to be a beat late, I think. Mm hmm. I guess, again, it's possible at this point that last game could try to pull back and burn out the ogre. Oh, there's something you can do with this Zerda. You can just end the turn somewhere pushed forward. She won't actually heal herself up, so she can still take out the Bozo even without buffs. I mean, you can still use faction buff. Right. She's still going healed, she... yeah. Yeah, so she's, she's not still healed, going no. to be quite a threat here. Yeah, I think she can kill either Arianrod or Basel here. Um, Arianrod could move up in Grand Cross, and then potentially dispel Hide and Seek. Yeah, both of these are in danger. Right. I think Arianrod needs to move up in Grand Cross right now. I don't mm, know though. Yeah, I, mean, I it's... think that oh, will be the here's... play. Okay. Well, this could silence mm. Zerda. Nope, doesn't silence. That's not silence. Doesn't silence anybody. Uh, heal block Zerda. Doesn't heal block anyone else. These are useless. <laughs> what garbage is this? This <laughs> garbage. This is garbage. Taken. Report Erwin for throwing. <laughs> um. Uh, yep, Zerda so here might we are. kill herself attacking into the Crystal Warlock, maybe, but uh, nah. Yeah, There's I don't know. The... Reflecting 30%, so. Does the Crystal Warlock. Um... Yeah, it makes the entire unit reflect damage. The... Okay, yeah, unit reflects 30%. But just have enough health to survive, so it's like. Ugh. This is awful. Here we are. Dead. Here it is. Dead and Zared is dead now. If Arian Rod follows up, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's whatever. Just dead. Yeah, is that Zerda still able to move? Why is I thought she wouldn't be able to move now. She doesn't have. Eh. Oh, she has her faction buff. Yeah, I'm faction buff. I'm high. I'm high on cocaine. Leave still me alone. can heal. So. Yeah, you yeah. can. Take I mean, you time. can follow up with Grand Cross here, but then what do you have? Yusuke, one, two, three, four. Yusuke can't reach Liana, so even if he could kill through uh, Shrine Maidens, he can't do that. He's also not transformed, so he has way less damage. Uh, one, two. So he could try to kill Reen, perhaps? Yusuke, maybe? Untransformed 3C into Reen? Oh, this Arian Rod is also under uh, 70, so she can act again, like Storm Lance yeah. into Grand Cross. She can. Um, I think Yusuke can still kill Rain though. Oh. Yep, there it is. So, I don't know. This That's maybe not bad. It's not bad. Because um, Zerd is out of range of Liana, so she can't be healed. Arian Rod, Rod can use the 3C. Uh, right yeah. here, and then slam into Yusuke. Or slam into Arianrod. That might 
I don't know if I don't know why there's zealots on last game's Aryan Rod. I don't uh, I don't know. Mm. I don't get that. But there are. Well, you do get a bunch of buffs from Grand Cross, so but it's below eighty percent. Wait, this these are exorcists. Exorcists on Royley, and zealots, zealots on here. last game. Yeah, I don't get the zealots. Oh. I understand the exorcists. I do not oh. understand the zealots. Oh, Liana's skills are heal, act again, and gospel. Fjar lar lar. I think best move AoE here and then slam into one of these two. Yeah, I don't know if yep, that's right here. What's happening? Does this kill? If this kills Arian Rod, then you're fine. And if it doesn't, then you're less fine. Didn't dispel uh, attack, but did dispel defense. Mm hmm. Well, I think you just slam into Yusuke. He's not going to heal here. Well. And yeah, you're fine here. This Yusuke is like dead. You slam here and then you slam there. Oh. Or the Oh, this is that. nice. This yeah. is very nice. Yeah, the Yusuke is dead. Probably. You can attack with the Landius, but I think that you do Aryan Rod. Oh, God. Does this kill? Okay, it does not. So, here we go. This is interesting. I th uh, you just Grand Cross now? Yeah? Mm-hmm. So, there's nowhere to Grand Cross more than two people. And you have to Grand Cross Landius and Zerida. Yep. So, you just do it from the forest, I would say. Oh, Landius is Moby down, so you can actually Grand Cross here? That blocks the Landius from reaching the Yusuke. Yeah, uh, it's gonna happen. Well, um, yeah. Except that Liana can heal him. Yeah. Liana's going. Liana cannot fail to dispel the Moby Down. Well, Aris does have Dolly, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then Dolly should be actually able to heal. Yeah, reach she can here. get in range to heal. Mm -hmm. um, I think Landius still kills Yusuke. Even with the dolly. Yeah, I think so too. This is a full heal here. But there's no uh, talent, so... Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Yusuke's defense got dispelled. I'm gonna see the teleport here. I think you have to see the teleport here. You gotta go for it. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have anything else, he doesn't have anything else that would be useful to do. Mm. So there it is. So, ooh! But... Oh, he defense got defense. 20%. That could be very nice. I think he's dead. Um, it does mean that Liana is guarded. Alive. But... Well, here it is. Ooh, oh my still god, alive, he's alive. But he's still dead next turn, yeah. right? Since he gets to yep. take two. There's no way to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. And I think that Aryan Rod just has Sturm Lens. Riley's Aryan Rod only yep. has Sturm Lens mm -hmm. available. Mm -hmm. Um... So okay, you can storm lance and break the area rod. Yep. Yeah. Murderous intent. All right. All right. So I this see is a some single shit. heal on area rod. So this area rod is able to act again. This one isn't. And this is like hmm. the last which, turn of well, which last one is able to act or, again? Yeah, this one cannot act again this turn. So, so this is interesting here because we have Lancer Landius and Lancer Arian Rod against a pure Cav Landius on Royley's side. They each have a mm -hmm. healer. Liana's mm -hmm. gonna be probably a bit better. I th uh, think maybe. so, maybe. But I think I got to give the advantage right now to last game. Uh, yeah. Just because of the the hardcore Lancer Fest we have. Mm -hmm. All right. Push the Lancer forward, or push the Landius forward. And sort of try to block the enemy in. This corner ish. Mm. 
Last game already. Hilariously, I hit on damage. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so he's going to do a double move sort of play here, I guess. Mm -hmm. But all the stuff are cool on cooldown here. And this total destruction, if used correctly, could be pretty good too. Yeah, that Landius has already lost one life, though. Um, or at least Landius has. And mm. this is just threatening to outright kill, <clears throat> I think, yep, if yep. he doesn't do something right now. Mm -hmm. We should see the heal. Yeah, but if you heal, then Arian Rod attacks, Landius attacks, still a dead Landius. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think last game is really, really heavily favored now. Yep. This is looking pretty good. But yeah, the the, the Reen trade from uh, Yusuke oh, kind of made all the difference. Heal. Just also, if you want to bring up the uh, the RNG factors, he got that heal block on Zerida and the Breeze on Yusuke. Wow, just that both way. enabled both of his plays. He ran away. Where'd uh, he go? He, where's uh, he going? What's he doing? Arian Rod <laughs> might be able to take down this Landius with a two attack here. Ooh. Okay. Still might be dead. Yeah, this is act again. He's absolutely dead. No, he's, he's healed above, above 70%. Oh, no. Oh, no. That Iris heal prevented the act again. Yeah, I don't think it matters, but it does. Uh, wait, it says cannot benefit from move again. Oh, that's wait, the move Landia again, aura. Right, right? Yeah, that's the Landia right. Yeah. So Iris just heals here, um, mm -hmm. heals where she is, and next turn, Aryan Rod can do the double, can do the act again. Mm -hmm. Or uh, he does that. Okay, sure. Yep, this is gonna apply another healing light or healing talent on Arian Rod. Yeah. So she's not gonna be able to act again like this. I don't know why. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why either. Um, we don't need to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, he might be able to block. I I mean, it's looking unlikely here. Well, he needs to not let his own Aryan Rod get blocked in. That's for sure. Um, but she's got six mobility, so it's very hard to block in an Aryan Rod. I'm not yeah. sure when Roy leads Grand crosses back up. I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference or not. But so he's not trying to block. He's just yep, he's just going to bring up passive guard here. <clears throat> yeah, this Arian Rod didn't have this talent here. Could be taking down the Landius. Yeah, I don't I don't understand that. Hmm. He must have seen that, you know, that talent and not being able to act again like from before, right? So I'm not sure why he's better. doing this. Let's see. That does Still, like yeah. I think this triggers really bad are... damage. Okay, this triggers the act again here, but yeah. yeah. Well, this time <laughs> the royal calves don't have any damage reduction. That first hit in. But again, I don't think this is gonna AR. kill here though. This attack is way too low. Um, Angela Hammer. Okay. Hmm. I think Grand Cross should be coming up here pretty soon. I wish as a spectator you could see cooldown information. Because mm -hmm. I can't be fussed to uh, check. Total destruction. So this knocks the Iron Rod back. Mm -hmm. I don't think it really opens up any sort of... Uh, that was a. I think that was a bad time to total destruction. Um, one thing, since both Aryan rods are going to be playing it close to the 
close to dying, one might be able to snipe the other one with something like total destruction, knocking them out of guard range or something, and that was just a wasted total destruction. I don't think it's that bad. This Aryan Rod can double move next turn. With two AoEs, could potentially get rid of this Aryan Rod. Like, whichever one have the 3C oh, yeah. first, you can use the 3C and kill the other one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that actually, you're right. Because Aryan Rod... She has so much mobility, it's hard to factor it in, but there's no way to block that Aryan Rod from reaching uh, last game's Aryan Rod. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Did that just swing things back? Might be. Since this Iris most likely have to her heal herself to prevent herself from dying. And then this Aryan Rod might just go down to like two AoEs. Been or one AoE followed up by a single target. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. That just. Yeah, our win yeah, could have had the win if he just downed the Landius earlier, but it took way too long to do that. Well, he just never set up to do it ever. Yeah, he applied the heal. Okay, talent. his iron rod is safe though because oh. of the fog. <laughs> mm. Roydley has no time to make decisions either. I think he probably goes in with the iron rod right now and. Because mm. Sturmlands, I don't think it will teleport you into fog. Liana swing. Oh. Liana swing. Oh, nope. I think I Liana could have definitely killed. Yeah, I think. No, that was AI. AI happened. He ran okay. out of time. Mm. AI just triggered. Uh, Liana is a mage, so she's going to act before the other two, and Landius was low on health, so she healed him. Which is lucky, because otherwise she would have like gone to the right and attacked Landius and died to the fog. <laughs> That might be it. Yeah, I think could have absolutely killed Army Rod just moving up and then attacking. Still have two range guardy up. That could have been game right there. Instead, you know. Yeah, Royley ran out of time. The time saving him. He also healed his own Aryan Rod up um, above 70%. Mm, mm, oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so that was awful. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he didn't have that plan mapped out in his own head. He knew exactly. Iris couldn't. Iris had to enter turn under guard with Landia, so I don't know why he didn't have a plan for how he was going to make his next action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Fjarlar is uh, giving you some shit, it appears. Yeah, this area have eight move you can't possibly block, but it looks no. like last game might be trying to block off Roydly instead. Um, well, could be good. The only one he could block off potentially is Liana. That Landius also has eight move right now. Mm. Although, if he lets his AI trigger again, the AI I don't know if the AI cares much about the fog, so the AI might just die to the fog. Yeah, right now this Liana can't get out. Okay. All right, talent activated. Yeah, this Liana. Uh, if everything stays here, cross. this Liana is dead. Can't cross I think into the cross is available. Okay, All right, Storm Storm lands. Lands. Yep. Heal somebody. Uh, doesn't matter that I, much. Can't I think he again. needs to heal his own Aryan Rod. Otherwise, yeah, he might die to probably, Grand Cross yeah. with the uh, the tick. Is Dolly back up? I think Dolly is sufficient. Mm. Oh, it's only have a cooldown three here, so yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, this Liana can move three move, so it's like one two. Oh, it can actually move here. It can move <laughs> to the swamp. Yeah. No, it can. Oh wait, this is mountain. Can move anywhere. No, swamp is only one tile for a really? infantry style movement. Yeah, yeah. It only messes with cavalry. No, oh, swamp. I thought that was water. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. There's the three C. Doesn't do a whole lot here. Nope. And uh. Um. Last game has his own three C right now. I don't know if he goes with that play. Hmm. Maybe. I don't mind this is still... ending turn with. Uh... This is still dangerous, and Royley's actually caught up on damage dealt. Yeah. Um, oh, um, last game's Aryan Rod only has. Whoa! Oh, okay, okay, okay. That is alarming. 
<laughs> I was alarmed. You may have been able to guess. From yeah, that the... was quite the noise or quite the sound effect right there. <laughs> oh, I, I see Pete has clipped it, maybe. Or he, he might have clipped you instead. No, that they was, were giving you yeah, crap. They me here. They were giving you crap before, so now they can give me crap. Mm. This is still a... Uh... Just a dangerous position. Mm, um, I like it. I like it. Well, I mean, our, that other Aryan rod. Yeah, this Aryan got... rod is dead. I think, right? Yeah, can't possibly. Yeah. Slam. Okay. Yeah, yeah, slam. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, just attack with Landius and kill the Aryan rod, yep. because otherwise, Aurelius Aryan rod is going to find a kill eventually with mm -hmm. all this stuff, mm -hmm. all, with all the chican chicanery. Yep. There we go. Dead. Mm -hmm. Game over. Oh wow, oh, man. Uh... Ooh. There it is. Uh, uh, I should have bet more, I I guess. Man, I was going to slap that one ticket on Erwin and not do any more than that, but I like I said, got distracted. Oh, I can still buy tickets, so I could squirrel away uh uh-huh 750,000 gold and hope that it matures into something. Well, Erwin completed uh, what I did back in Season 2, which is die at top 32 and then pile an account from top 16 there you all go. the way up to champion. Roy Lee clearly cannot beat Phoenix players, except mm. for Loomis. Yeah, we'll just give you Loomis. <laughs> and uh, if it makes you feel better, Erwin totally got that heal block on Zerida on top of the Tenyos on Yusuke that enabled both of his plays to win the game? I guess, yeah. <laughs> and then that's still Erwin RNG. Wins with pure RNG. That's that's it. Well, they're sure enough pussyfooting around with, uh... He never killed that Landius. <laughs> All right. He had about two or three opportunities to pretty easily and he just uh could not be bothered to apparently mm -hmm. so let's see how much do the guys earn from from this so my one ticket got me 800k gold that's a lot Damn. of gold hmm. that's a chunk that was exciting uh Let's see if Vernon wants to come in here for like an interview or something. I don't know. Erwin doesn't talk a whole lot. He does every now and then. First thing I would say to him is his Bozo's AoE in uh, game three sucked. Where he got absolutely nothing on the entire well, team. He got the heal block on Zerda, and he got damage on Rain, which allowed the Rain to die to. Uh, yeah, there's that, UK. I guess. Hmm. It still kind of smacked of desperation, but it did work out for him. Mm hmm. Wow, some people went in all 12 tickets, got 5.5 million gold. That's a lot of gold. Slash shot went for the uh, um, very served to him on a platter pun there. Hmm. Well, that was very unexpected. Oh, it doesn't have it here. But well, we get a new name on the Listel skin. So that's going to be imprinted with the last game, unless they want to change the name. So what happened back in Season 2, you know, where we won with the name in Lemons at the very end, right? We changed it back to Mapes, thinking that... Well, we even got confirmation that they would use the name Lemons on Leon's champion skin. <laughs> and yeah, then well... they came out with the CN players, right? And then after two yep. months, they finally fixed it. They even sent a uh, support, customer support, Ivy, to, like, Discord PM. 
private messages asking me which should be the name that should go onto this Lian skin. Mm-hmm. So of course I say lemons. And then like a week or two later, it's Mabes. Yeah. Well. I guess we'll just live with it. Nobody cares at this point. It's been several months already. Hi. Hmm. So Royley is left with only having one half of the uh, Apex finals so far. Yeah, he takes Season 1. Nobody played serious in Season 1, I guess. I sort of sucked in Season 1. I mean, Lemons sure played seriously in Season 1. Oh, yeah, He sure took took losing hard. Um, Yep, just quit. Cool, I don't know. Cool seemed to be playing seriously, but he sure lost in the... In 256. Yeah, cool is like me, where you don't care about RNG and then we die to RNG. Clock, clock, clock. Yes, nothing po- nothing like that could possibly happen. The chances are so vanishingly small. Yep, so season one, season three, sure. Yeah, someone got knocked out because of Lestelle clocking about six times this tournament. Oh, yes. There's that. There's also the Bozo clocking eight times against somebody here. Sleep, sleep, sleep. So, clock is something that is hard to hang your hat on, but every now and then it will just mm. uh, really make all the difference in the world. Yep. There's the clocks. There's all the tail breeze as well. Yep, make yeah, everyone clock over says... Antonio's win the games. Yeah, remember in game three that uh, Enraged Yusuke was only able to punch Rain because of that Tenyo Breeze, right? Yep. I don't think he could have gotten that close otherwise. <sighs> yep. All of these RNG. We might have Erwin joining us for an interview, I guess. He says he's changing clothes, so we'll see. The... Uh... Set of clothes he was wearing, probably drenched in sweat at this point. Couldn't quite figure out how to kill Landius. Erwin says he already changed his name to Erwin Liana. Uh, oh yeah, he did. Erwin Liana. Changed whose name to Erwin Liana? The last game's name. Was that part of the deal? There it is, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll see what Slong actually does. Because, you know, back in Season 2, I just said that, they were supposed to take the name that was used when the champion won the match, which is yeah. supposed to be, in this case, the last game. And well, only because of situations... That they made it into Mabes, right? So. Uh, Alright, well, somehow he was able to beat all these CN streamers, CN experts. Uh, well, I guess it was impressive. Turns out the Lancer Landius actually made the difference. Then again, he only made that possible because of, you know, killing the Reen, getting the heal block on Zerino. So, yeah, it's like a bunch of RNG stacked on top of each other. Yeah. Mm. I mean, he didn't ever, he wasn't, I don't think, in a position to heal the, uh, the, the Zerida. Hello, hello, Erwin. Hi. Congratulations yeah. <laughs> on your win. Yeah. Let's go <sighs> Yes, yes. Must be a sigh of relief right there. So yeah. before before we get into anything, I want to say that last game when you when your bozo went in for that black hole, my first comment was this AoE sucked. You saw a bunch of like reduced defense and magic defense on units like Landius, yeah. that didn't matter. So the only one yeah. that mattered was the heal block on Zerda, which actually did matter. 
Well, the most important uh, developer I got there was the uh, so the sock lane on uh, Zelda. So he cannot kill my uh, uh, Arian hole there. It's the most important one. Oh, then so... the head down on the uh, ring is super important. Hmm. Well, you also yeah. got lucky with the Tenyo Breeze again on Yusuke. So you were yeah. able to get in range to use 3C and kill off the ring there. So yep. with those two trades, you had a pretty good shot at winning thanks to your Lancer Landius against all well, their cavalry Landius in the end. Yep. So that, that was, was pretty well played. <clears throat> So, do you have any winning comments here? Yeah, fuck Chinese streamer. <laughs> Very well then. All yeah, right. I'm sorry for my lack of uh, English. I'm not an English speaker. It's, it's, it can be help. Yeah, and uh, I'm right. ready to uh, work right now. It's, it's uh, 7 uh, a.m. in my country right now. Mm. And I need to cut the... Uh, Got my train. Ah, all right. Yeah. We won't keep you have here for long work. then. All right. Have a good rest of the day. Yeah. Congrats, and everyone. Way, yep. And I, congratulations I, I again. Uh, uh, Dark Knight ENZ in game right now mm -hmm. to win Leona. Yeah. Yep. Back to my old one. Yep. We'll see which one they actually put on the Listel skin later on. Yeah. I'm begging them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Uh, we'll actually make a notes to Zlong staff as well to, you know, make them change it into Erwin Liana. So we'll contact oh. uh, support for you. Okay, thank you very much. No problems. Yeah, have a good day now. <laughs> All right, you take too, care. Man. Oh, take care. Bye. <laughs> oh, all right, well, there's that. Yeah, that's a... Uh... I mean, they they didn't exactly listen the last time they were contacted about a, a champion name, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I guess nothing else you can do. Yeah, this Listel never got the uh, last rights, but I think he didn't even feel Listel. No, Listel wasn't on either side mm -hmm. in any of the games. <sighs> yeah, this tail hat on this licorice was like MEP in a lot of games. <laughs> well, it got priority banned after game one, but uh, throughout the, mm. the tournament, I guess you mean. Yeah, throughout the tournament, especially against me. But yep, two chances to proc, LP. Proc, uh, 30%, it's like 80%. Uh, Alright. Anyway, I think that does it for me. So good uh good streaming with you and goodbye yep. everybody. Thank you very much for the co cast, Hasohapa. Yep. Ciao. See you all next time. Take care.